Welcome to the wrap-up for Zentangle Project Pack number 20. My name is Rick. Hi, I'm Maria. And we want to go through some of the tiles and just uh, show you uh, what we did and some of our ideas behind it. And, and I just want you to appreciate all the work that we've done together. I'm just so excited. I wish I'd s I could see everybody's tile. And uh, for those of you who do upload to the app, we encourage everybody to go to the Zentangle Mosaic. You can download it for free and just uh, search on the hashtag that is at the end of this project pack. And so let's, uh, let's go through. This is the first day that we started out. This is one I did. Uh, this is Hollis. And we're doing this whole project pack with uh, blossoming tangles. And just to review the blossoming tangles, just sort of blossom. Well, they just sort of are the stars of the show, <laughs> obviously, right? And on day two, we did this one with Molly, or Molly did this one. Beautiful. And uh, you can see some of the slight variations of... Uh, How we go, th go about the thinking process of, of, of which ones we'll keep and which ones we don't. And you can see, like, this one is uh, all the different styles, slight, slight differences. You can see here where her... Uh, border is a little fuller, and then she simplified it here. Mm -hmm. It's about the only thing I can see on the, the differences. And then you can notice, like, where she accented some of the uh, orbs right. instead of all of them, mm -hmm. right? And then Martha did Y4. I love that new tangle. It's just so exuberant, mm -hmm. right? And, and you, you can, can see... Yeah. And there she did it on a uh, translucent tile, probably was practicing. How fun. Right. What a beautiful tile. And then the next day, Maria started and did Elish. Elish, Elish uh, ordinarily would not be a blossoming tangle, but we just kind of just repeated it over and over until it did blossom. Right. <laughs> Gave it some water so and food. And th this one here, uh, underneath there, is sort of like just plain Elish. Right. There's Elish. And we took a, a fragment of that and then repeated it over and over until we got the blossom that we liked. That's just a plain Elish. And this is really cool. This technique here, right? Mm-hmm. In the background, yeah. And then another background one. And another. <laughs> so you can take this in so many directions, right? Yeah, these are, th there's as much to learn in the wrap-up video, you know. Just so many good ideas. And this one is Julie's. And this wonderful mix of using a ruckus and this, the, the, uh, whatever, the components of the bars of a ruckus to turn into these lovely poke roots. That's a great combination I would not have thought of. And, and I love the combining of straight lines and curvy uh, tangles. And this little lovely drawn behind mm -hmm. little bit there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then Maria came back with mycelium. Mycelium. I think this is one I, I did originally. Right. And I had like it had four mycelium in it, and I thought that might be a little much for <laughs> <laughs> beginners. Um, so we we went bigger and uh, bolder, and um, yeah, I kind of like. I it. love the contrast and how this really plays. It's so simple yet so dramatic. Oh, All right, fun stuff. And then this is Oranot. Which you did. Which I did. And this was the, uh, the tile before that. I tried it on a white tile. And I just thought that this was too much in all of the spaces there. So I changed it a little bit. And one thing I wanted to show um, about Oranot is in these, we skipped one element. 
but you can see that you can skip two elements and the same principle works. So if you go back and watch this video, this happened to have nine, this has six. You can skip two or three or any amount and it still works, the same principle works. Mm -hmm. And our last day we wrapped up with this lovely combination of uh, Molly and Maria working together, Molly doing the drawings and uh, vertigo, and then Maria doing the vertigo. And it's a new version of vertigo, and we don't have a name for it or anything, but it's a, a little more structured, uh, a little more oomph to it, mm -hmm. right? And here are some of the exploratory ones that Molly worked on. And this is just sort of a nice little behind the scenes idea of uh, you know approaching different ideas. Very cool. Right? Very cool. So what a wonderful uh, project pack. Mm. We're so grateful for you that played along and posted the tiles. We look forward to seeing them. And we look forward to seeing you on the next project pack. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye now.